there was a man, a man who was on a lot of drugs, who decided to cut the electricity to their home. My name is Casey Castillo, and I am a managing partner of Castillo Harper. My primary practice is criminal defense, and I am honored to be a USCCA panel attorney. One of the most memorable cases I have had to date is an instance where a USCCA member was um, out in his yard, uh, minding his own business, got a phone call from his neighbor. The neighbor's family is also a USCCA member family. There were young uh, daughters home along with the mother. Um, at some point, there was a man, a man who was on a lot of drugs, who decided to cut the electricity to their home. He tried to break into their house at numerous entry points and finally decided that he was going to make entry into the homeowner's home. He decided to do this through the garage. The mother of that residence called my client, the neighbor. The neighbor went to the home and ultimately ended up confronting that particular individual. There was a shooting. That shooting took place at numerous points all over the residence. I received the call from USCCA on the critical incident hotline. I was able to talk to not only the client who had shot, but the homeowner of the house that the man had broken into. Police had arrived. That particular homeowner wanted me to help with a limited consent to search form. I was able to do that over the phone. For the other individual, I was able to prevent him from going to jail, prevent him from going to the police station, and ultimately ended up helping him give a very good, very detailed statement to law enforcement. He was not charged with any crimes. Because that man did not end up dying, he ultimately was charged with residential burglary. The twist on this case is he then decided to sue my client for shooting him, although he was being prosecuted. My law firm is also defending that family in the civil lawsuit. USCCA allowed both of those individuals to have the coverage they needed when they needed it most, and I cannot recommend it enough. If you are someone who ends up having to use lethal force, do what my client did. He immediately called the hotline. I was immediately put in touch with that individual. He did not give a statement to law enforcement until I was present. Because I practice in this area, I already knew the detectives. I was able to immediately reach out to them. I was able to secure a time and place for that conversation. It did not happen when my client was worried or scared or having that super adrenaline rush from being in that lethal force incident. As a CCW holder, um, I can't think of something that is more important besides your training um, than to have someone who has your back, not only in terms of the legal aspect, but the financial aspect, because no one has a savings account for an attorney. When it comes to self-defense, you need to be educated, trained, and insured. Learn more about what you can do to protect yourself and your loved ones today.